For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. I'm not saying I deny it. Okay. I just don't see the ex- explanation uh, why this explains very much. To see to say that this entity, a uh, godlike entity, whatever it is, is something with a consciousness of its own. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong, and it right. might be that there is such a thing. Maybe one, you know, like in, in some religious views, one some uh, after death, somehow one's consciousness um, becomes part of that thing. Uh, I'm not saying I think that's a wrong view. I don't necessarily think it's let, a wrong view. Let, let's have one, one response, yeah. and then we'll move on to yeah. some of the specifics sure. of, of cosmology here. I'm not trying to drive anyone <laughs> to a conclusion. I'm offering okay. a, a metaphysical solution to what you admit are profound mysteries in your own worldview, where we have these three disparate realms of reality that don't seem to connect very well. And given that you've already got the mental realm, You've already got the realm of mm-hmm. mind. It's, it? it's a small step to postulate an omniscient mind. But why don't we, you see, we've already got the physical world, you see. You could yes. say, why don't we put it there? Well, we've I already the spoke to world. that. Why don't we put it there? Right. I, so, I already spoke to that so. because <laughs> you can't put it in the abstract realm because that realm is causally a feat. Uh, you can't put it in the physical mm-hmm. realm because the physical realm is contingent and finite and therefore cannot explain the logically necessary uh, and infinite abstract realm, and it's very difficult to explain the mental realm too on the basis of purely physical causes. But I think we're just saying, you're just saying it's not here and it's not there. It doesn't mean it's in the third place. It might well, not be anywhere. Well, no, no. I mean, if there are these three realms of reality yes. and the unity, the underlying unity can't be found in two, it follows logically that it's going to be found in the third unless there is no unity to be found at all. Well, maybe the unity is something much deeper than any of these pictures. Well, then it's, you're... It's contained, it has to do more with the, 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 the totality of all three in uh-huh. some sense, well, then rather than be, putting it in the mental world. Yeah. So the mental, putting it in the mental world is giving it a... I mean, degrading it in a way. I think that's what I feel about it. Feels it feels unbalanced to you yes, in some it's way. Yes, it's imbalanced. And if it has free will and somehow, yes. then that's somehow degrading it because oh my. it says it could somehow have done something else. It's like us. It's too much like us. <laughs> it's it's too Maybe much like, like putting it like, <laughs> yes, like old view, ancient views of, of, of well, the Greek views of the gods in some sense. They were like well, too much like but us. they were finite. <laughs> it's contingent here we're talking about a metaphysically necessary source of the platonic realm and but the physical it, world this is a this is not and, is and, and perhaps significantly the judeo-christian traditions of course do speak of humanity being made in the image of god that there's that sense yes, in which yes, in which we reflect kind of that i'm having trouble with yes, that you're having exactly. trouble with that idea yes yes, yes. <laughs>